What is up guys, Brit Tech here back with another video and today I'm going to be installing the new watchOS 6.2.1 software update to my Apple Watch and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the new features and what all is changing in this install. So let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay guys, so what you need to do is go ahead and go to your iPhone and go to the Apple Watch app which looks just like that and select it. And then we're gonna scroll down to general and then we're gonna select it and then go to software update. And okay, so guys, for this update, you can see that it's gonna be 47.4 megabytes, so not too big. And um, let's see what are the improvements. So it says, watchOS 6.2.1 includes improvements and bug fixes. So that's what's gonna be happening for this install. It says fixes an issue where devices running watchOS 6.2 could not participate in FaceTime audio calls with devices running iOS 9.3.6 and earlier or OS 10 El Capitan 10.11.6 and earlier. So it says some features may not be available for all regions or on all Apple devices. And of course, for more information, you can always go to the uh, apple.com website that they have for Apple support. So yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this install. So what you need to do is you need to make sure your Apple Watch is on the charger and at least 50% charged and make sure your Wi-Fi is on, on your, on your Apple Watch. Go ahead and swipe up and Wi-Fi is on. So let's go ahead and select install on our iPhone and put in the passcode. Okay, so now it's gonna verify the install and then it's gonna start installing it. Your Apple Watch will most likely reboot and then it should commence. And you guys can see right here that it has started to install. And like I said before, it was 47.4 megabytes, so it shouldn't take long at all. Okay, guys, as you can see, the update has finished. WatchOS 6.2.1, your software is up to date. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yes, I do recommend this update. Looks like it was repairing something that happened in the last install. So I'm going to go ahead and recommend this one if you are experiencing those issues. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.